I am interested in uh, precision medicine with the detection of actionable mutations by using plasma cell-free DNA genotyping in uh, lymphomas. And in this meeting, we will present data on the use of plasma cell-free DNA genotyping to guide therapy in ALK positive large B cell lymphomas, which comprise less than 1% of diffuse large B cell lymphomas. And uh, there is no standard therapy for these very aggressive lymphomas, which have short survival because they are chemotherapy and radiotherapy resistant. And even uh, rituxan cannot be used uh, for these lymphomas because they express no B cell markers such as CD20, nor do they express CD19, rendering the uh, commercially available CAR T cell therapy, which is CD19 directed, ineffective also. Uh, we will present data on the first report of the use of uh, the ELK uh, TKI inhibitor, uh, the second generation ELK TKI inhibitor, electinib, and then uh, lorlatinib, uh, the third generation ELK TKI inhibitor, uh, resulting in complete response in these aggressive uh, lymphomas. Lolatinib is designed to overcome the uh, secondary resistance mutations in the ELK tyrosine kinase domain. Uh, electinib and lolatinib tablets are currently FDA approved in the United States for non-small cell lung carcinoma, but not yet for lymphoma. And uh, our patient had uh, a presentation of very high fever, splenomegaly, uh, with diffuse bone marrow involvement, with stage four L-positive large B-cell lymphoma, with plasmablastic cells expressing the cytoplasmic ELK in a granular pattern, translocation 217 ELK clavarin fusion, and there was no response to chemotherapy with EPOC or hyper-CVAD, but one cycle of DAP with electinib tablets achieved complete metabolic response on a PET-CT with a normal spleen. And the bone marrow biopsy showed uh, no lymphoma. Then a fludarabine melphalan matched unrelated donor allogeneic peripheral blood stem cell transplant achieved full donor chimerism uh, without lymphoma on a day plus 30 bone marrow biopsy. However, on day 50 after transplant, the patient suddenly relapsed with falling donor chimerism, uh, very high fevers and pancytopenia necessitating ICU admission. The bone marrow uh, biopsy confirmed diffuse uh, ELK positive large B cell lymphoma. And the PET-CT showed Dovil score five splenomegaly and bone marrow involvement. The tacrolimus was tapered, uh, resulting in stage one graft versus host disease of the skin. Electinib tablets were started again, but the LDH continued to rise over 2,500, 10 times the upper limit of normal. On day plus 80, electinib was discontinued and lolatinib started. And 26 days later, the LDH normalized, the pancytopenia resolved, and full donor chimerism returned. And on the day plus 112 after transplant PET-CT, there was complete metabolic response again. The bone marrow biopsy showed no lymphoma with ELK by FISH negative plasma cell free DNA genotyping, next generation sequencing assay had detected the ELK I1171N mutation that confers resistance to electinib, but remains sensitive to lolatinib. And the plasma cell free DNA genotyping is being followed monthly uh, to detect evolving new mutations conferring resistance to lolatinib, but this has not happened one year after transplant. The patient continues to do well on uh, lolatinib. This highlights the promise 
of inhibition of the driver ELK mutation and ELK positive large B cell lymphomas with lolatinib, which results in rapid and durable responses, even in a lactinib resistant disease, harboring the ELK I 1171N an actionable mutation detected by plasma cell-free DNA genotyping. It seems that the cladrin elk is required for tumor maintenance in elk-positive large B-cell lymphomas. Elk could be the optimal target for therapy of elk-positive large B-cell lymphomas, and this could have transformative potential in the lives of many patients with this very aggressive uh, lymphoma, much like imatinib did for chronic myeloid leukemic patients.